Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be going over a budget light laser combo. Now I don't particularly like these. However, company reached out to me, said, Hey, will you uh, test this product? And I was like, sure. Why the hell not? So uh, they went ahead and sent it out to me. Um, I don't really know the name of the company. I asked when they sent it out to me, they're like, we're a Chinese company who has specialized in making light lasers for 12 years. Okay, then send it out to me and we'll do what we do. Um, I did ended up finding out the brand when I uh, searched up the model number on it on uh, Amazon. So as we get into this, I will go into more of those details. All right, let's check this thing out. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what we got. So we have a operator's manual, the light laser itself, and then we have the charging cable here. It is one of those uh, magnetic charging deals. So if you like that or hate it, it is what it is. Go ahead and plug it into any of your uh, USB connections and that's how she charges. It doesn't have to come off of whatever weapon you mount it to. So that's pretty much uh all that comes with it. So not knowing the company name, I just went ahead and typed this in on Amazon and LSS 500 is apparently the brand name. So I don't know who the parent company is, but if you type in LSS 500 on Amazon, this thing will pop up and it does cost around $55. So for $55, what are we getting for our money? Let's get into this thing. So all right, features, low profile LED flashlight and laser sight combo powered by magnetic built-in rechargeable battery. I'm assuming it's lithium. Fits compact to full-size pistols, water resistance. It is 6061 T6 CNC machined aluminum, and it does do laser only, light only, and laser and light. So pretty cool. Um, this thing does have strobe and your regular light built in. So apparently this thing is... Uh, <laughs> The output is, uh, we'll see. So the green laser is 520 NM class 3A, whatever the heck that means. I don't know. I'm not a laser expert. Um, and then LED max output is 1,000 lumens. Now, we'll see just how bright that is when the sun goes down here. Uh, I'll take it outside and we'll see. However, uh, for right now, we'll go ahead and get it mounted up and see how it fits on a full-size uh, full handgun. So putting it on, obviously, um, you're not going to have a bunch of adjustments like you do on standard pistol lights. This is more, I guess, set up for any kind of Picatinny rail or whatever. Um, but you do have to take this screw out, slide it onto whatever pistol rail you have, and then screw this back on. And then these two pieces will grip on. And then after that, you can just kind of, you could take it off pretty easily, but to put it back on, I found that this bar has to come out. So let's go ahead and uh, see what we're gonna put it on today. All right, so I got my uh, Springfield XD here. It is empty, no mag inserted. I know it's dumb, but YouTube makes me do that, so. All right, so like I said, you can't just uh, slide it on like you would a normal pistol dedicated light. So you have to take this screw out, put it through one of your little serrations for your on your uh, your light rail here. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys, so there it is all mounted up. Uh, it, it, it's it's a little hefty, um, but it sits kind of flush. So the only issue you're going to have with uh, some off-brand stuff like this is holster compatibility. You're not going to find a holster unless it's one of those universal cloth Uncle Mike's type holsters that are going to fit this light with your uh, with your weapon. So unless you know somebody who makes holsters, um, like Border Town Holsters, if I sent this to him, he could make a holster based on this. But then, you know, that just adds a lot of cost on an already kind of expensive um, light for what it is. Uh, like the TLR6 from Streamlight is only like $75. So $20 difference 
and they have holster availability. So that's kind of a negative that I see here. Um, if this thing was like 30 bucks, then maybe it's worth it to you. Or if you're just going to run it as like a bedside gun, you're not going to holster it or need to carry it around anywhere, then yeah, maybe this works out just fine. But holster compatibility is always going to be huge with these uh, off-brand uh, aftermarket lights. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to turn the lights off in here and we'll see how these uh, this light and laser looks uh, in this, this confined space. And I'll take it out uh, outside in a minute and we'll see just how far that beam projects. All right, so I got the lights off here. It's a little scary, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this light on. So that's the uh, thousand lumens here in my... Uh, small confined gun room and go ahead and throw the laser on so there's the laser with it pretty bright but obviously we're not anywhere yet um not sure if you guys are picking it up on camera it looks like the laser is being drowned out by the light on camera however with plain view i can see it clear as day let me go ahead and there you go there's the laser promise you <laughs> The laser is really bright with this light on. You can see it so right there above the light switch. You can see that laser right there going up and down. It's really bright green with my eyesight. The camera is just not picking it up for whatever reason. All right, so that's, that's that. I'm not really a fan of visible lasers anyway, but that's another story. All right, let's get back to uh, this review. All right, y'all, so I came down to the uh, park here, and it's uh, pretty pitch black other than right here under the street light so thousand lumens i can see uh pretty decently especially uh any distance you're going to shoot out at handguns so that fence back there is about uh 60 60 ish yards away pretty uh pretty legit let's see if we can pick up the laser now that it's a uh, night time all right so uh here's the laser it's on the fence now which again is about 60-ish yards away, so pretty decent. Let's see if we can pick it up with the light. Um, so the camera is picking it up pretty well now that it's nighttime, and let me tell you, with the uh, naked eye, it picks it up just as well, so pretty good. Turn the laser off now. It's right there in between this uh, V of the tree. All right, just turned it off, turn it back on, back between the V of the tree. All right, so uh, I don't really know how many Candela this thing is. Um, it doesn't say on their website, of course. But uh, for any kind of handgun distance, it lights up the area pretty well. It's got a decent amount of flood and spot. So let me put it out in front of me. Um, you can see kind of all around you. Could it be better? Could there be a little bit more flood? Yes. But uh, I think they do that to maximize the, uh, the throw of this light. So all right, guys, let's get back to the, uh, to the review room. All right, guys, so that is the LSS 500 1000 lumen light laser combo. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments. Um, and uh, yeah, if you're interested in it, go ahead and uh, type LSS 500 in on Amazon and you can get yourself a light laser combo for about $55. Um, if that's something that interests you and it's worth it to you, then a hey, more power to you. And uh, yeah, so thanks to... Uh, the Chinese company that shall remain unnamed who sent this to me. I appreciate it. And if uh, you got any more products you want me to test out, let me know. Thanks. Have a good one, guys.